Welcome back everyone. Jeff's R9 is back for a little bit of loving. It's just kind of a clean up and a fret dress. I did all the heavy lifting on this one a couple of years ago. Most of you would probably remember the video on this. Pretty spectacular guitar. This will get a full fret dress and sort of triple check that intonation. This is the 11 to 48 strings tuned E flat. And Terry's stopping by in a minute to pick up his uh, five string Squire Jazz bass. He lives in BC and he's, uh, he's going to be in Stratford today so he's going to swing by and pick it up.
before I put that pick guard back on, I want to give you a good close look at this top. You can see that that low E, or E flat in this instance, is just about touching the casting. Same with the A, or the A flat. And this saddle as well, back pretty well as far as it goes. These three, there's a little bit of room for travel. Most importantly, it's perfectly in tune. Now this was a few years ago that I set this up for Jeff. You can see that the low E, or E flat, e and the high E are the only two strings that are close to the natural end of the fingerboard, all the other strings all have negative values. So E flat tuning 11 to 48. Well, here we go. This is uh, Jeff's R9 Les Paul. I know that typically you're not likely to strum GCD on a Les Paul. I'm just doing this just to demonstrate the intonation. So. Okay, so this is the progression I've looped. Then the bridge of our chorus. So I'm going to let that play. Thank you. 
position chords that you don't dare play on a Les Paul. So far, it's been straight up. Les Paul, straight into the amp, no effects. 